Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. My name is Costa Child, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. This is speaking about uh, Buzzsaw at Dreamworld because it is officially closing. It's closing. Why? Uh, now, we're going to speak all about this via a statement uh, from the Screamscape article, uh, information about why it's closing, and share my thoughts on this closure, because it's quite a recent closure, if you ask me. Uh, now, before we get started, guys, please like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this. Subscribe if you're new around here. Click the notification bell so you never miss another video from this pure Yorkshire face. Uh, I, I, I did get a couple of comments from people on previous videos saying you got a cute accent, which is kind of adorable. Uh, but thank you very much. Um, now, please go and check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you can submit your own ideas for the channel. It's as much your channel as it is mine. And for now, guys, please do all that good stuff. It would really mean a lot to me. We're getting closer and closer to 3,000 subscribers. Some one thinks I'll get to four or five thousand by the end of the year. Can we prove him right? Can we prove the commenter right? Can we get to five thousand subs by the end of the year? That would be mean a lot if we did. I'd be happy with four, let alone five. So uh, if we can get to five k, then that'd be brilliant by the end of this year. We've still got half the year left. So you've got plenty of time. And uh, for now, guys, let's have a look at exactly what's going on with the closure of Buzzsaw at Dreamworld in Australia. Get I might. Let's get forward into this natural expedition. So Dreamworld have officially announced that along with the $32 million plans for the new steel Taipan coaster, which by the way looks fan dabby dozy, um, the park will cease operations of Buzzsaw given the new ride's proximity and the park's focus on viable future development. Now Buzzsaw, which is a Mauer ride Skyloop coaster, isn't that old of a ride having just opened on September 2011. The last day to ride Buzzsaw will be the 31st of August 2021 and it will leave the park with just three operating coasters until Steel Taipan is ready to open later this year. Now. For those of you who need some stats on this beast of a coaster, um, before I talk about where I think the ride could go. Uh, now, this Mario Ride Skyloop, specifically an XT150 model, there are two specific models out there. There's this one, the XT150, uh, which is the same model as Terra Twister at Phantom Wild Dreamland and Phantom Wild Adventure. Uko at Linamaki here in Europe. Um, Hidden Anaconda at Happy Valley. There is also the XT450 model. There's only one of its kind there, and that is, of course, Abismo at Spain's Parque de Attractions de Madrid. Uh, now, this particular model has a length of 492.2 feet, a height of 151.6 feet, a speed of 65.3 miles per hour, two inversions, and includes a vertical train lift, 151.6 foot tall Skyloop, with 5 Gs, all in a duration of 50 seconds now obviously this opened back on the 17th of september 2011 and it will close on the 31st of august 2021 so it's only been operating nearly not quite but nearly 10 years so why is it closing we already knew that uh, it's to do with the the future direction of the park and i'm going to speak about now why uh, why i think this could be a good or bad closure and i'll speak about where i think buzzsaw could be going so there we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That is talking about Buzzsaw and its departure from Dreamworld Australia. Now, could I be wrong in thinking that Buzzsaw could travel over to the UK or Europe or somewhere like that? Could be wrong, could be completely and utterly wrong, but is it just me? Or does this, do, do you think the new owners of Lightwater Valley could buy this coaster? <laughs> I mean, it's only been operating nearly 10 years. It's still in great condition. So, I mean, it would be great to see if the ride moved over to, uh, to like Water Valley. But in all seriousness, first, I mean, talking about relocating the ride and things like that to different parks, I mean, this is just, you know, it, 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 you could literally make an entire separate video on that. In terms of whether I think this is a good or bad closure... It could be a bad closure because obviously it's a newer ride, so you don't understand the closure, you don't know why. You say it's for the future direction of the park, but what's going to replace the site? There's a million different questions with why it's bad. It's a good move though, because maybe they're being ruthless with their ride selection. They want the best of the best of the best of the best. So maybe Buzzsaw isn't the right direction for the new direction of the park, or maybe not part of the new direction. 
So, there's reasons for, there's reasons against. Overall, I'm not too sure where I'm at the minute. I'm kind of 50-50 in the middle. There's reasons for it being a good move and reasons for it being a bad move. I'm in the middle on this one. So, I mean, you guys sign the comments down below what side you're on on this. Is it, is it good for theme parks out there in Europe or around the world? You know, could you potentially buy this coaster uh, and get it off Dreamworld's hands? Could it be relocated to somewhere for the 2022 season? That's a real possibility. Could be wrong. I could be really wrong, but um, no, it, it should be interesting to see what happens. But uh, for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my name is Coach Child, Killing on the Coast Life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon.